my name is Tiffany Yu and I am an undergraduate researcher in Professor Russell's Dance Science Research Lab and what we're looking at is balance using this machine here and what it is is a force plate that has sensors in the corners to detect where your center of gravity is and what she's going to do is she's going to stand there in um, a turnout position with her eyes open first and what this machine does is it's going to detect where her center of gravity moves during this, the 10 second test period. So go ahead and start. Stop. And then next she's going to stand in the same position but this time with her eyes closed, getting rid of the visual input. Okay, go ahead and start. Stop. And then the program on this balance uh, machine takes a look at the points that it detects during the 10 seconds to create circles that demonstrate where the stability is. So with her eyes open, she's a lot more stable, as can see, as you can see by the smaller circle. And then with her eyes closed, the circle is slightly bigger, and she also tends to sway back and forth, um, forward and back more than sideways. And this is how she compensates for keeping her stability. And what we're doing is we're going to look at dancers versus non-dancers to see um, quantitatively how big the difference is in their balance ability, and hopefully looking at the exercises that dancers do to see which ones contribute to balance to hopefully help the elderly or just any other population that need to improve their balance for sports or just life in general. So part of our dance training we do, we're taught to um, different types of imagery, we're taught to pull up straight, suck in that belly button into the spine, um, and we think that maybe perhaps the imagery contributes to it. The other things that we're taught is to strengthen the core, to contract our core muscles, and we think that perhaps that contributes to balance as well. We also stretch, so um, some of the tighter muscles might throw people off when they don't stretch, and ballet dancers, and dancers in general, um, have more flexibility. So we think all these things um, contribute to better balancing. Um, I'm Tina Wang. I'm with the Tulane School of Me Medicine. I'm a fourth year medical student working here with Dr. Russell in his dance medicine and science lab at UCI. You test it in different positions, so you can stand with your feet parallel, or you can do it in turnout position, or you can even keep just one foot parallel on the ground. So we decided to put turnout as one of the positions just because we know that it's a stance that dancers tend to stand in more, so we wanted to see if they are in fact more stable in that position instead of just being in parallel. What did you find? Did you find that they are more? We are still testing subjects, and... Um, we, have an ex we don't have exactly enough data to determine which one is better yet. How do you feel? Do you feel more stable like that? Or? Well, so the thing we know about, um, especially ballet dancers, people train in classical dance, is they have um, stronger external rotators that make their legs turn out. So when you look at dancers, when they are relaxed, they're their toes tend and legs tend to turn out more versus um, people who are non-dancers or who have uh, the variant, a normal variation of um, turnout. So we think that that's why we're testing the turnout position is to see perhaps dancers have more balance when they're turned out um, or less when they're in parallel than the normal population. We just don't know. There's not much data out there.